Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. So a lot of you watching this are Asus fans and I think deservedly so. Their ROG series of smartphones are a good differentiated Android offering. Now they make a good attempt at a gaming phone, but they're also great content consumption phones. Misleading headlines aside, I think the problem here is with Netflix and not with Asus. Asus on their ROG Phone 2 right from day 1 gave us HD and HDR streaming from Netflix. But I thought we'd use this to talk about Widevine L1 and to clear up some of the confusion that you guys have there. Let's get started. So the first thing is that this entire video got started off when I read a headline that says Netflix just added support for the ROG Phone 2 for HD and HDR streaming on their service. And I was wondering what happened to all these 8 months because the phone launched in July of 2019 and was widely available in October of 2019. So you mean to tell me that for the last 8 months or so, people having this phone cannot stream HD and HDR content from Netflix and other streaming providers? Well, the answer is no, they could definitely stream it. It was Netflix that got it wrong and took so long to update this list. They briefly added the ROG Phone 2 and then removed it when they removed the Pixel 4. Now Asus from the day one when they launched this phone with a 120Hz fast refresh rate, full AMOLED screen with full HD plus resolution actually gave us HD and HDR streaming and it's a great content consumption device. Now I thought we'd take this opportunity to talk about Widewine L1 certification and what it really means. First question, can you tell the difference between HD and HDR and non-HD streaming? Well, the answer is most probably yes. Now, I know a lot of you are quickly reaching for your phones to challenge me to spot the difference between a HD high definition image and a non-HD image. But I think that if you really look closely enough, you will be able to tell the difference. The second thing is what is required to stream content from Netflix, Amazon Prime and Disney Plus in HD and the answer is twofold. The first one is you need to have Widewine L1 certification on your smartphone and the second one is that you need to have the hardware, both the processor and the display to support it. Now I emphasize display because the iPhone XR and for that matter the iPhone 11, actually the world's highest selling smartphones don't have a HD display. They only stream Netflix and other streaming services in 720p. I know Apple fanboys are going to say, no, that does not really matter. But for Android fanboys, it really does matter. Now let me explain Widewine to you. Widewine was developed by Google and it's a digital rights management service. It sits in between your smartphone and streaming service provider and ensures that your high quality streams are really high quality and that you're not copying them off. See, an unscrupulous person, definitely not me, when they are being told that they can stream high quality movies and TV shows from streaming services like Netflix and they can download it on their smartphones and then they would think, why can't we just copy this and put this on an SD card and then torrent it out to everyone because content should be free? Well, Widewine will prevent that. Now, Widewine was developed by Google and it has two levels. The first level is called level one, that's L1, and the other one is called L3. L1 is hardware based, meaning there's a dedicated portion on your processor called the trusted execution environment where the encoding happens and it supports HD plus streaming. The L3 is software based and it mostly happens on Chrome web browsers and Chrome OS devices and it does not support HD streaming. Now, if you don't have Widewine at all, you will only have 480p streaming and I don't care which fanboy you are, you will not be happy with a 480p stream. The good news here is that most ARM Cortex A series of processors, that's ARM, they are the company that gives chip designs to Samsung, Qualcomm, all of these companies. That series of processors has inbuilt support for L1 certification. All the Android manufacturer has to do is to spend the time and test it properly. And even that, some of them mess up. The other good news is that there is no licensing fee from Google. It's free for the Android manufacturers. Google makes its money from data like they do every other time. If you're really concerned about your smartphone not having Widewine L1 certification, you can download the DRM Info app. I will link to it in the description right next to that like button and you can check if your phone has the relevant certification. I'm saying this again, Asus on their ROG Phone 2 did give us Widewine L1 certification and they do have support for HD and HDR streaming from Netflix and from every other streaming service. However, I need to close this by talking about OnePlus in 2018. Yes, we did not forget. 
OnePlus gave us the OnePlus 5 and the OnePlus 5T. And these phones cost $500, but there was a lot of commotion around them because they did not support Widevine L1 certification. And hence, even though their displays could support it, these phones could not stream in HD from Netflix and other streaming providers. OnePlus got so much hate for it that they actually issued a patch saying that they will pay for the shipping for you to send the phone back to them and they will do the Widevine L1 certification and send the phone back to you in about 10 days. No thanks OnePlus. Never settle does not seem like an appropriate tagline here, don't you think? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends to whom you want to explain Widevine L1 certification. As always, please go over to YouTube and subscribe to the Vlog of No channel. Ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.